This is Ms. Kellogg, and I'm interviewing her today. So how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so my first question was, how long have you been an art teacher? This is going on to be my third year, but my second year here at Ovidasi. Cool. Um, what type of classes do you teach at OE? I teach the first semester painting and uh, two intro to art classes and then advanced art and then the second semester I teach ceramics, drawing, and then another couple of intro to art classes. Okay. Um, what do you like, what do you like about working with the students? Um, being a teacher and working with the students and seeing what they create um, and being able to help them and guide them through that is just a really rewarding feeling for me. Um, why do you want to become an art teacher? Like what made you become that? And um, who inspired you to become an art teacher? Um, really just being able to help coaching with my family and having um, older coaches and teachers tell me that I, I kind of have a knack for it um, really helped me growing up. At first I wanted to go into something artsy, not technically teaching because um, we all know they don't make the best of money. And so I kind of put that aside and I went to school for a couple years and then I decided, you know, halfway through I'd rather be doing something that I enjoy um, rather than making more money and not enjoying it throughout the rest of my life. So I um, took the courses that I needed to finish with my education of teaching art and that's how I got here. Um, what is the NAHS? NAHS is National Art Honor Society and this is kind of like Obadalsi's art club and um, it is where we all kind of come together every two weeks in the morning and we figure out some things that we want to do outside of school or um, fundraising, things like that. Okay, what do you guys do in um, NA, NAHS? So right now we are starting to plan different projects to um, teach to the elementary kids also doing some um, fundraising, making Christmas ornaments to sell to school and figuring out kind of some workshop days that we could do after school. Um, what activities do you have like coming up? In um, those, just those um, workshops for NAHS, but we also have our snow sculpting coming in January. Um, what would you say would be your biggest activity? Um, for just NAHS? Or? Yeah. Okay, so that would probably be the snow sculpting and we do the snow sculpting in around the end of January. I take four students um, to Frankenmuth and we, there's a probably a little under 20, yeah, around, around 20 different teams from different schools that come together and we get these big ice blocks and, well, kind of snow ice blocks and uh, we sculpt away at them with our own designs that we do and we do it for a couple for two days um, and then it's kind of open to the whole community and everyone comes to Frankenmuth and looks at all of the different snow sculpting and then there's ice sculpting and professional ones um, but the ones that we do the ice sculpting competition is just for like schools and students. Okay. Um, I've heard about the snow uh, sculpting competition. What, uh, what goes on like and how is it like held? And, like, where do you guys usually do it? So that's always held in Frankenmuth, and pretty much just what I, sorry, answered the, yeah, <laughs> answered your okay. question in the last okay. question. Uh, but yeah, it's it's held in Frankenmuth. We go Thursday. It's usually like a Thursday morning thing, um, and then it's all day Thursday, and then all day Friday, and then we stop around dinner time on Friday, um, and then it's just kind of open to the community for the the whole weekend to look at. Okay, so like, um, I have like another question, but um, like, not more like where it's where it's held. It's like where do you even like sculpt? Do you like sculpt in like a certain building? It's like in a parking lot. Like they give you these ginormous ten foot tall, um, just like these big cubes of snow, and they just place probably twenty around this big parking lot, and then um, we just kind of take our. They give us our own little spot and we're kind of just next to everybody and we just do our own thing to our own little cube that we have. 
Do you have like a certain amount of time for it? Yes. Yeah, so we are able to start like on um, say Thursday, I think like 8 a.m. And we have all day until 10 p.m. And then the next day we have 8 till 4 or 5 p.m. So they have those specific times and you're not allowed to just sculpt throughout the whole night kind of thing. So or you can get disqualified for doing something like that or um, working more more time. Um, and you're only allowed to have four students be working on it. Okay. And I can't help them with any of it. I can only kind of just be there for more of moral support and kind of show them the direction, but I'm not allowed to like physically touch anything. Okay. Um, for the NAHS, like for the little kids, um, do you have anything like more exciting for the little kids that you're um, Right now, all we're doing is just trying to um, get into their school to do projects with them. They don't have their own um, art department, so really all of the art projects they do, are do they're doing with their teachers. Um, uh, we want to kind of show them that there is a, the art department, advocate for the high school um, department that we have, and so we are going to be doing some type of winter-themed project for coming up for the third graders, and then we'll do another one next semester, um, possibly one or two more in next semester, depending on how much planning time we have. Okay. I was just about to ask you about the grades, but that yes, so uh, we want to do like between second and third grade, um, possibly if we had more time to do these and planning more time, um, I'd love to do every grade, but just kind of being realistic with narrowing it down to those grades. Okay, do you know like um, what made you choose the idea to, like for the kids like what? Um, just the facts, like you mean like the actual project? Yeah. Or, okay, so the actual project, it comes down to um, our meetings at the NEHS. So we all come together and we all um, we're starting to list out ideas. People will email me ideas if they come up with things. And then for right now, I just have more of the winter theme going on. Then people are giving me specific lists. I'm going to put that together. And then at our next meeting, we kind of will vote on which exact project we want to do. Then we will do it together. Um, and a little workshop, and then we will learn how to present it to the um, third graders. That's very cool. Very nice. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, not that I can think of right now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So that was our interview for with Miss Kellogg. And Hi, Mom. <laughs> and um, hope you have a good day. Thanks. You too.